Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here. Today we're going to be talking about Storm Kieran once more, and as you can see the Storm is now making its final approach to Northwest Europe, uh, especially to France and the UK. Starting off by looking at the satellite imagery here, you can immediately tell that Storm Kieran is a very, very powerful storm. You can see we've got a textbook kind of curl uh, in the satellite imagery, and just by looking at the um, low-level clouds here, these kind of slight dotted um, looking clouds in this area, you can see they are moving very, very quickly, uh, which is just showing you the strength of the winds uh, at the surface, likely in excess of around kind of 80 to 90 miles an hour by this point in the Atlantic. So also you can see that classic curl, perhaps indicating a sting jet, although it's kind of really hard to say at the moment, but also notice we have a lot of precipitation uh, to the north and the east of the storm, some very heavy rain there, and also some hints of uh, convection to the north of the low centre, likely in here, and you can clearly see it's moving in this general direction, liking, uh, likely making landfall, if you like, uh, over the kind of next 12 hours or so, uh, and a very powerful storm indeed. Just to show you something which looks kind of cool, at least to me, uh, visually, this is the water vapor loop, and it's very, again, very, very textbook uh, kind of images right here of a rapidly deepening cyclone. Uh, we've got the jet stream here uh, coming in like that, and then notice how we get that very, very dry air, uh, sorry, very, very dry air uh, wrapping into the cyclone, cyclone represented by those um, orange and yellow colors there. And then notice we're getting that very classic looking uh, curl starting to develop um, across the Atlantic right there. Just really very, very impressive looking storm and likely overnight perhaps getting even more impressive. And if just showing you once again, this kind of t kind of hook in the tail uh, is perhaps a sting jet there. Though luckily the strongest winds from the sting jet are likely to not affect uh, any land. Uh, looking at the surface analysis, you can clearly see a very deep low. The analysis from 5 o'clock had it at 959 millibars, which is pretty, pretty exceptional. And this will only continue to deepen through the next 12 hours or so, possibly reaching uh, into the low 950s, perhaps even a bit lower uh, as it kind of crosses through parts of central England. Though the strongest winds will be to the south of that through the Channel and northern France. Uh, and taking a look at the weather warnings once again uh, from the Met Office here, you can see uh, the amber warnings are now more separated, uh, but we have this amber warning of wind which comes into force at 3 a.m. until 11 p. Uh, 11 a.m. Sorry, so during the morning, uh, with the risk of some uh, very strong gusts, 70 to 80 miles an hour, perhaps in excess of 85 miles an hour. Uh, similarly, that amber warning is now across kind of from the south coast, Isle of Wight, uh, eastwards up into parts of Essex as well, where we're likely to see gusts of 70 to 80 miles per hour, and that will be during uh, the morning and into the afternoon there. And then we also have the yellow warnings of wind uh, and rain, not quite as severe weather uh, expected in those regions. So taking a look at some of the models now, uh, you can see here, this is the German model for six o'clock this evening, and this is matching up uh, pretty well with our visible satellite imagery uh, right here, you can kind of take a mental image of that and see it's looking very similar. So models likely have a fairly good handle um, on the current track and position uh, of the storm, which means we can take a look at the model guidance with more confidence now. And you can clearly see here how we're expecting the storm to rapidly deepen uh, by midnight, kind of approaching some sort of uh, landfall uh, across parts of uh, the UK, likely southwest England there, with very, very strong winds wrapping around, uh, and also some pretty heavy rain, as you can see there. And Indy Low will cross this kind of region during the morning, but the strongest winds on the south side. Uh, and if we take a look at some of the forecast values, uh, here we go. This is the we're going to look at the French high, res high resolution model, and I generally think this is going to be a pretty uh, accurate depiction of what's to come. And having said that, it is very, very concerning because look how strong these wind gusts get. Uh, initially, through the early hours, we're getting strong winds uh, along the south coast, kind of in a band ahead of the storm. Uh, perhaps as much as 50 miles an hour, even into some more inland parts, maybe London area, as you can see there. Uh, and this is maybe even slightly stronger than that, 50 to 60 mile an hour gust inland across the southeast during the early hours so could be woken up uh, by some strong winds don't be surprised if you are but then really notice the curl uh, in the kind of the worst is kind of on the back of the storm as you can see here with the curl of very strong wind moving around uh, and this is by around 4 a.m and notice uh, most of cornwall there 
under very very intense winds this is in excess of kind of 80 90 even 100 miles an hour at times there so very dangerous winds going to be causing structural damage damage to trees very large waves uh, storm surge travel disruption disruption to power so very very damaging and you can see there's a very very sharp gradient um, between those uh, strongest winds and very kind of calm weather so there is slight uncertainty on exactly where that gradient will be and especially if there are any kind of last minute shifts in the track um, that's kind of something to consider but generally the kind of more southwestern areas of England are at risk of some very very strong winds and then that's going to be through the early morning and then through the uh, kind of early morning across the southeast we're going to see some strong winds likely winds gusting 50 to 60 miles an hour in this general corner uh, of south and southeast england there even into the london area it could be some strong gusts during the morning um, but then the strongest winds uh, in this zone begin to transfer east and by 6 a.m along the south coast so brighton uh, that's included and then up towards kent wind gusts in excess of 70 to 80 miles an hour are likely and perhaps even getting slightly further in line with those strong gusts there uh, and then notice by eight o'clock in the morning so this is a rush hour very strong wind gusts uh, across parts of southwest england the south coast uh, and then especially into east and southeast england parts of kent and i can imagine some very strong winds around parts of dover as well as the risk of storm surge actually seeing a few suggestions of storm surge up to a meter and a half and then there's uh, strong winds are also pretty strong through the bristol channel by the way and parts of wales uh, do not ignore the strong winds there and then they start to clear away there is some concern though uh, and this is not something we're expecting but just something to be aware of and that is the kind of gradient between a very very calm center of the low right here and very very strong damaging winds is really not that much uh, especially kind of from this area onwards and if we get any last minute changes uh, in the track of the low so even if the kind of jet stream is slightly different to forecast and we get a wobble to the north or maybe the precipitation forecast is not spot on and that kind of changes the energy in the storm and can give a slightly different path then there is the very small chance but it is a chance that those strong winds could move slightly further inland uh, do not expect it but it's just something to be aware of and if there's more kind of hints of a last minute change i'll try uh, and make some sort of update but as you can see the worst of the winds are going to be to the south of this black line here uh, especially along coasts where we're going to see those very very strong gusts worth mentioning just thought i'd say uh, across the channel islands and northwest france an exceptional storm is likely um, here we're likely to see hurricane force winds perhaps wind speeds equivalent to a, even a category one or two hurricane not that it will be a hurricane but um uh, sustained, sustained wind speeds of 90 miles an hour is approaching the equivalent of a category 2 hurricane there and across the channel islands you can see making a direct impact there with exceptionally strong wind gusts likely in excess of 100 miles an hour uh, as you can see right there those kind of brownie colors and black colors uh, indicating across north and northwest france and the channel islands exceptional wind speeds likely some very major disruption there and also the risk of storm surge uh, along kind of part areas of the south coast large waves perhaps waves as high as 14 meters so a very damaging and disruptive storm to come also a very impressive storm at least visually as you can see here with a very impressive kind of hook uh, and pretty textbook images of a rapidly developing cyclone so just to recap, uh, anywhere within these yellow wind warnings are likely to see some pretty strong wind gusts during tomorrow, but especially across this amber warning. And even here, across parts of Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly, I would almost expect a um, red warning to be issued within the next few hours uh, due to the fact uh, we've got these exceptionally strong winds forecast to come through uh, here in excess of 80 to 90 miles an hour. And perhaps the chance of that across the... Uh, south coast though i would mainly expect cornwall uh, this region here to be uh, and the isles of Scilly as well uh, under that red warning for very very strong winds and i'll just refresh the page just in case uh, but it looks like no updates there but anyways take care uh stay safe and listen to all mornings because this is going to be a very damaging uh, and rare storm thank you so much for watching everyone Bye bye